Hi guys, Jamie at Clue Amateurs here, and today I've got a bit of an air gun video, but with a difference. Today we're going to be looking at how we convert between foot pounds and joules, and why we can use foot pounds as a unit of energy in the first place. So we'll get right into it in the, with the conversion, because I'm sure that's what everyone's actually here for. And the conversion is that one foot pound of muzzle energy is equal to one point three five six joules. So what this means is that to get from foot pounds to joules you need to multiply by 1.356 and go back from joules to foot pounds you need to divide by 1.356. And that's about it for conversion. However there is something rather sneaky we can do here. Say you're trying to do this conversion quickly in your head what we can actually say is that 1.356 is near enough 1.33 recurring, otherwise known as 4 over 3. What, or if you're not comfortable with top heavy fractions, 1 and a third. And what this means that at, is to get from foot pounds to joules, you can actually multiply by 4 and then divide by 3 and to get from joules to foot pounds you can divide by 4 and then multiply by 3 so that's kind of a cheesy way to give you a quick idea of a value that you've been given in joules that you want in foot pounds or a value that you've been given in foot pounds but want in joules and if you do the maths, the error on that is only about 6%, which, when you generally work in whole numbers for these things, isn't a huge error. So why then can we use foot-pounds as a unit of energy at all? To understand this, we have to consider the, metric, the um, imperial system. Now, when the imperial system was used, pe uh, pounds, which we normally think of as a unit of mass, was also used as a unit of force. Specifically, the force of weight on a mass of one pound under the Earth's gravity. Now, when we think about energy in this sense, we're going to use the equation for work done, or energy transferred. And that is force times distance. Now, when we do this with our metric units, we get our work done, or our kinetic energy, in joules, equal to our force in newtons, times our distance in metres. Now, if we try and do this for our imperial units, we take our, so we want our kinetic energy is equal to our force, so that will be if we now convert, so one pound is equal to 0.454 kilograms, so that'll be 0.454 times the Earth's gravity, so the uh, force per kilogram, which is 9.81, and multiply that by a foot, which is not. 0.305 meters. So pop some units on there. So that's kilograms. That's newtons per kilogram. And what we get is 1.358 joules. And that's how we know that one foot pound is in fact 1.358 or up here 1.356 depending on rounding joules so i imagine most people haven't watched this far you probably just wanted the conversion um hopefully you found this little cheat up here helpful and maybe you even found this little bit of dimensional analysis helpful um but that was just a quick bit of how to convert between foot pounds and joules and why we can use foot pounds as a unit of energy at all so our next egg on video will probably be something a bit more involved, actually getting out, doing some shooting, maybe modding or repairing another air gun. 
So if you found this helpful, please do hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this or more of our other content, do hit subscribe. We do all kinds of stuff. And if this has been helpful to you or if you've got something to add, please do let me know in the comments. Right now, though, I've been Jamie. This has been Clue Amateurs, and I'll see you next time.